What's up, fam? Unicorns are awesome, and God says they existed. That's it for that. I don't ever want to talk about it again. Thank you very much. What I do want to talk about, I love you guys, what I do want to talk about is it is, it, it is astronomically important how you approach the Lord with prayer. You don't run with lust of the heart, man. The Lord is not going to reward you. He's not going to answer a prayer that's based on lust of the heart or malice or anger or want or even sorrow. God's going to answer a prayer. Okay, everyone that ever approached Jesus with a need received. Wants and needs parallel, you always get what you want because you always want what you need. But everybody that approached Jesus with a need, it was answered. With reverence, with faith, they approached Jesus, right? They didn't come to him complaining about so and so did this, and this hurts me bad, and I want more of this, or I want more of that. Give me some things, elevate my stature. No. Those are lusts of the heart. They're sinful desires. But if you go to God with thanksgiving, with a need, with a need, with thanksgiving, not woe is me and why haven't you given me this and why am I in this spot? Why is my life like this, dude? Friends, that's not the way to approach the Father. You approach the Father with reverence, and faith with thanksgiving thank you God that you have provided this for me thank you God that you have already made a way for this for me thank you God that you have removed this released this released this relieved this taken this away from me thank you God that you know the needs and that you're willing to to provide those needs. You pray with thanksgiving, thanking God for what he's doing. Because that's faith. You know he's acting. You know he's moving. You know he has you. So you pray with thanksgiving. You don't complain. If Jesus was right here and you were sick or you were crippled, you were dying, if you were homeless, if you were hungry, if you were jobless, if you had a need, legitimate need, came to Jesus with faith, with believing, with reverence, respect, and honor, Jesus would give it to you 100%. If he was sitting right here, right now, you would receive. Christ never left anyone in any ailment, in any way whatsoever. No sickness, no infirmity. Anyone who came to Christ for anything whatsoever, anyone Christ encountered, heck, some people he didn't even have to encounter. He just told the guy, go home and your servant, boom, is fine. He didn't even have to be there. Jesus is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The word says to ask, seek, and knock when you have a need. Pray thanks that God has taken care of your need in the name of Jesus Christ. Because everything Jesus Christ did, he did, anointed by the Holy Spirit, when John the Baptist put him in the water and the dove descended from on high and lit upon him, endowed, anointed with the Holy Spirit of God, man. And when that happened, brother, sister, mother, father, believer, disciple. When that happened, he was anointed with the Holy Spirit. He was given the power of God to execute miracles on earth. Power over demons, unclean spirits, healing the sick. Miracles, man. The same Holy Spirit that lit upon him like a dove is the same Holy Spirit that rose him from the dead. It's the same Holy Spirit that empowered him to move God's miracles on earth in man. He anointed the apostles with the power to perform miracles. And when they were anointed by the Holy Spirit, 
Christ was resurrected, ascended into heaven, the same Holy Spirit that is in us today. So there's no, there's no boundary. There's nothing holding us back. We're directly connected with God through Jesus Christ. He's literally up there advocating for us. When we pray and we thank God for his promises, Christ is there saying, hey, dad, my brother, he's hollering for one of those things you said he would, you would give him. And he's asking in my name, father, the most high God has one son, one only begotten son. We're adopted. We're sons and daughters, but we're adopted. God's got one son that he loves more than anything in the world. He loves more than anything in heaven. Loves more than his own name. When your son asks something from you, what do you do? The only time you ever tell your child no is when the lust of the heart or the sin nature of man is putting them in a position where you're at, they're asking you for something that is not good for them and as a loving father you say no that doesn't apply to Jesus Christ the only perfect person that ever walked the face of the earth was the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ hallelujah praise God so God doesn't have to keep things from him God never has to never wants to and never will say no to his only begotten son so when Jesus is advocating for you at the right hand of God, God's going to say yes. So remember how you approach him and approach him with thanks. Because you got to remember, this is the same God that gave his only son for you and me and everyone. This is the same Jesus. Christ is not his last name. This is the same Jesus. Christ means the anointed one. This is the same Christ Jesus that gave his life up so that we may have one. So why wouldn't you be thankful? Why would you be miserable and angry at God? Why would you approach him like he owes you something? He gave you the only thing that you could ever want. He gave you the greatest thing he could have ever had. Be blessed, family. God loves you. Jesus died for you. The Holy Spirit is in you. Dude, it, there's nothing better. Life is going to be hard. Life is full of trouble. It's one of the promises in the Word. That's why one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is long-suffering. It's going to be hard. We're going to have trials. It tells you that. It doesn't say it's going to be easy for anybody we have a comforter in the Holy Spirit. And we have promises from our Father. And we ought to be thankful when we speak to Him because He loves us. Always go to Him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Always go to Him. He wants you to. Go boldly before the throne of God. Ask anything in my name and you shall receive it. loves you. I love you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.